Oh, this must be the place on the right. 59 Acacia Ave. Hey, you must be Mr. and Mrs. Lake. Yeah, I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Rose. I'm Stuart Padassel with Padassel Properties. Come on in, let me show you the house. Okay, so as you can see, this is the kitchen and dining room. And we have pretty nice, spacious living room with a pretty sweet view of the street. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you'll follow me this way, I'll show you the basement. So yeah, it's not like a really nice big basement, but you know, you can store stuff down here and you know, maybe even throw in a pool table over there for funsies. Weird, this door won't open. Do you have a key for it? Not on me, sorry. Oh, well what's in there? I don't know, honestly. Something called the kill room. Uh, my dad didn't tell me what it was, but uh, I think it's basically like a large bulkhead that leads out to the backyard or something. That's actually kind of cool. Why is it called the kill room? I'm not sure. The guy that used to live here was a retired rock star or something. I think he used to jam in there with his buddies. What was that? I don't know. Probably some old pipes. You know, usual old house shit. So what do you think? You both seem to like the house. You in? I like it. It's nothing too fancy, but it's got what we need. I mean, it's not exactly my dream house, but honestly, at the price, there's not much to complain about. Especially this market. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Right, bro? Hell, if you sign now, I'll even take off another five Gs. Sounds good. All right, sign here. Well, I think this worked out pretty well. Don't you think so, babe? Yeah, hon, I was a bit skeptical, but so far so good. Told you it was too good of a deal to pass up. Yeah, and as it turns out, I think you were right. I just thought it was kind of weird that Stu didn't have a key to the other half of the basement and didn't seem to know much about what was going on in there. But at least he offered to look for a key, so... Yeah, I talked to him the other day. He didn't mention it until I brought it up, but he said he'd keep looking. Well, I wish he'd just look harder or have a new lock made for us. I mean, it would be nice to actually use a major part of our basement. True. Again? What the hell was that? I don't know, but again, it sounded like it was coming from the basement. Yeah, and specifically the side where they called it the kill room. And we've heard weird noises for a few times now. I'm going down there to take a look around. Okay. I'll be up here if you need me. <laughs> Rose, come upstairs. Something really weird is happening. You would not believe what just happened. Come take a look at the bathroom. So, I come in to use the toilet and it looks like there's blood in there. I flush it and everything seems fine, but then I come over to wash my hands and look. That's crazy. You know, when we were touring the house, I noticed like on the ceiling downstairs, it sort of looked like blood. And I don't know, I, I didn't think much of it when we were touring, but I just went down there right now and it's like wet and fresh on the walls. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I know. Also, I put my ear to that door downstairs and I swear to you, I heard what sounded like laughing in there. Something strange is going on down there. We gotta find out what. Definitely. <laughs> there 
here it goes again. Did you hear that? Yeah. You know what, enough's enough. I'm going in there. His friend's a stupid asshole. Was. Until he left me down here to die. Left you to die? Yeah, this was my uncle's house. We used to come here all the time, try to get high. And then he decided he was gonna sell it. And he thought he had somebody who was interested in it. So he grabbed a whole bunch of us and came over here to clean the place out. So while we were cleaning out all the stuff, Stu was in here. The can of gasoline, because that's a thing you have in a basement. And we were in here, smoking weed, like chimneys. And as he's walking up the stairs, drops the can of gasoline and the blunt and lit me on fire. So now you're a ghost? Yeah, pretty much. So I just gotta live down here now. And uh, Stu decided that he just wants to keep showing the house. So I just decided that I don't want roommates. I uh, just tried to scare people off as much as I can, but I guess it didn't work. My special effects didn't seem to have any effect on you two. Special effects? Like the blood we keep seeing? Oh yeah, corn syrup. I used to work for Alice Cooper. That's what we did on stage all the time. You were wearing this blanket. It was not exactly a target in purgatory. Besides, who's gonna be scared of a little hippie dude like me? Do you see me? I do, can see do, you. do you see me? Yeah, I suppose you have a point. What did you hope to accomplish by doing all of this? I mean, I just want a spot where I'd be kind of left alone. Like, you think you could be happy living here with us? I mean, uh, if, if it's cool with you. I just need a little place to chill. That's it? Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't take up a lot of space here, but there is actually one more thing. What? Well, I really like to get Stu back for what he did to me, little bastard. So, at some point, you could get him to come back here and we could cook up a little scare for him. That actually sounds like fun. Mm. Yeah. We'll call him in the morning. All right. Mm. If you bring to the asshole with the asshole properties, leave a message and I'll get back to you later. Stu, what's up, buddy? This is Tom Lake. We're loving the house. In fact, we'd like to invite you over to celebrate with us. We've been making all sorts of improvements, sprucing it up, and we'd like to show you around, especially what we've changed in the basement. Just let me know when you like to come by and we'll get everything ready for you. Ooh, s'mores. Oh, girls can't taste chocolate. Aw, oh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm.